Welcome to Ava's WordPress Theme Artificial Intelligence Demo Setup Documentation. In this video, we will show how to set up the demo and set the header footer, archive page, etc. through our theme builder. We will log into dashboard then go to the menu Ava's and then the import demo option. After that we will choose the demo artificial intelligence. And then click the continue and import button. It will take a while to import the demo so please be patient. After successfully importing the demo, we can see the demo content on our site, but there are no header, footer, etc. So let's set up those via our theme builder option. We will go to dashboard again, then go to the menu Avas and select theme builder. After that, we go to the header tab and then click the manage condition button and the pop-up window appears. We will set the condition for the header and footer on the entire page. so we can see the header and footer on all of the pages. Our header and footer are set successfully, but we have missed the newsletter. Now we will set up the newsletter for the footer. We will go to the theme builder again, then the footer tab and edit the footer template with Elementor. We have used the MC4WP plugin for the MailChimp newsletter, so in the meantime, we will set up the MC4WP plugin API to display the MailChimp form. Let's open the MailChimp plugin option and then add the API key. We have the API key already, so we are going to add it, but if you don't have the key then please click the get your API key here or go to the MailChimp.com website and sign up for the API key. After adding the API key, we will add the MailChimp form ID on our Elementor footer template. Let's copy the form ID and paste it into the template. Now save it and we can see the form here. Let's check our services page and its archive template that we have created with Elementor and our theme builder. As you can see the services archive page is not the same as our demo, so we need to set the services archive page now via the theme builder. We will go to the theme builder and archive tab then select the services template and click the manage conditions button. Now we will set the services archive option from the drop down menu then click the save conditions button to save it. Now let's check the blog page and blog archive page template.
We have created the blog archive page with Elementor, but it didn't set, so let's set it through our theme builder. We will go to the theme builder and archive tab, then select the blog template and click the manage conditions button. Now we will set the all archive option from the drop down menu, then click the save conditions button to save it. Our blog archive template is set now. Let's check the contact page to make sure our contact form is displayed or not. Our contact form is not set there, so let's set it through the contact page with Elementor. We are going to the page option via WP dashboard and then editing the page through Elementor. The page is open now. We need to select the contact form not found text then we can see the contact form appears there. In this way, we have set up our Ava's artificial intelligence demo successfully. Thanks for watching.